I use e-cards to my advantage because I, I figure they're, they're a pretty good way to, to get into people's computers. So what'll happen is I'll go ahead and I'll start sending out Hallmark greeting cards um, that look like they're real. So it's gonna look just like this. You receive an email in the mail and the email says, hey, somebody has sent you a Hallmark greeting card. Now I always send it from their secret admirer. Doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, Everybody likes a secret admirer and everybody wants one. And so it's the perfect person to send it from. So you get this little greeting card in the email and you go, okay, and it says to, to see your greeting card, click the little link. And it's a very basic link. It's not anything malicious. And so you go, oh, okay, it's just a link to Hallmark. So you click on the link and sure enough, when you go to their website, it comes up, it looks very much like Hallmark. Um, this is actually one of the ones we use right now um, to, to, to break into banks and credit unions. So it's, it's one of our real ones. Um, you go to the page, and when you get to the page, you can't actually see the video. And what it tells you is that your particular browser that you're using right now is out of date. The video player that you have is now too old, and you need to upgrade the video player. If you've had Microsoft or any kind of software, really, you've been through this at some point in time in your life on your computer. When you go to watch a video, you go to do something online, it posts a message saying, hey, the software you have needs to be upgraded to you. Would you like to do that now? And you click, okay, install, install, install. Well, that's the same thing that happens here. Pops up this little thing and says, hey, this product needs you to upgrade to the latest version. And so you go, okay, well, I want to know who my secret admirer is, so I'm going to do this. So you click on the little button, and it's right there, and it pops a little install wizard. And you've probably seen these a million times. Anytime you've ever installed any piece of software on your computer ever, you've probably seen something that looks just like this. So um, after you install it, sure enough, this little thing pops up, and you see the mooing cow or the dancing dog and you think everything is great. And as far as you're concerned, you're done. You can close your computer, little browser, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You've had a good time. It's all great. And you feel good that somebody likes you. You never really find out who it is because it's just a nice little message from us saying, we like you. Um, on our side, we get an email instantly that sends back to me that says, hey, we got one. And it tells me in this particular case what device it connected on. And what this is telling me is I now have control of that computer from my computer. So I could be here in San Diego right now and I could have sent this to you and you're in you know, Louisiana or wherever you are your computer is, the minute that you connected on that little dancing dog, it actually started a program on your computer that started communicating back to me. And now my computer has control on yours. You can't see this. As far as you're concerned, everything looks normal. But on mine, I have this little prompt that's come up now. This is this little Windows prompt. And um, if I type a directory listing, it shows me files. I can look at anything that's on your system. I can browse through everything on your system. And if you have a webcam, I can kick your webcam on and start watching you in your home or listening to auto in your house. So um, for example, this one right there, that picture, I'm going to take a quick sip. This was a segment that we did. That's my brother-in-law. And right now, he's looking at the camera going, wait a minute, you can see me right now? Because we had just turned his camera on without his knowledge while we had him on the phone. Um, you can pretty much do anything. And I think a lot of times people don't realize just how much information people can share through their computers, that it's not just what they're typing, but if you have the webcams, which nowadays all new laptops, or almost all of them, are coming with the webcam built right in. Uh, my biggest recommendation, just if you don't use the little webcam on your computer, get a little piece of black tape, put it right over the lens, and be done with it. My whole goal is just to get into one computer. Once I'm in one, I'll then fan out from there and go after systems that have more and more access to do more and more things. Um, this also works for other things. I, I, I mentioned it for Hallmark, but but I can go after this thing with YouTube, MySpace, NBC Next, you know, anything where there might be a video be, being played, I can send you some sort of a link and some sort of a little message telling you. And I can also send these emails on behalf of somebody you know. Have you ever received an email from somebody and it's weird, like you get this email and it's from somebody you know, but the email makes no sense, it's gibberish or it's just garbage? Well, that generally means that that person's computer was compromised or somebody else's computer that had their email address in their mailing list was compromised. All it takes is one of those and pretty soon you can mail out to lots of people. So even though you might get an email from somebody that you trust, doesn't always mean that email is a legitimate email or that you should go ahead and just start installing stuff or quit clicking links. It still can be very dangerous.